it's looking like this may be a smaller group than we anticipated. And uh, hello, Donna, hi. hi. Um, what we may do, Donna, uh, we're actually, all the four of us are part of the center team. So what we may do if you are the only one that ends up joining us is just have kind of more of an informal conversation, but um, maybe we'll wait just a minute or two and see if anyone else comes aboard. Okay, great. Awesome. Dana, where are you coming in from? I'm in Maryland, so right outside of Washington, D.C. Okay. I'm, have, I'm, have you, go ahead. I'm from Maryland as well. Where Where are you? I am in, uh, so technically it's Mechanicsville, but it's by Pax River, the okay. military um, base. Yes. I'm from, I'm from Telson, born and raised. Oh, nice. That's not too far from here. I want to say like maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Definitely. Very cool. Yeah, how did you hear about us? How did you get on our mailing list? Um, I actually got the mailing list from Alba Diaz, Dr. Diaz, um, who uh, I met Julia through. And actually, Mohe, we had a conversation. Dana and I talked yesterday. So okay. we, we just had a great conversation. And now right. and now say hello again. But yeah, if you remember Alba, who came yeah, to ECT, brought a remember her well. yeah. and brought Fantastic. groups. Been a wonderful part of our community. Nice. And then Brendalyn is also joining. Welcome. Hello, Brendalyn from the office. Hello. I've talked a lot with. Well, it's fun to see names come up when you know. So, uh, Brendalyn, we were just saying there aren't very many of us here right now. So I guess what uh, we could either sort of go through sort of the best hits of, of what we came here to talk through without doing all the finer details and then just have more of a conversation and, and keep it short, or we could do it purely conversationally. If, if I don't know, what, what do we think is best? Hannah, any thoughts? Um, maybe just the top, top hits, and then we can open it up for, yeah, just more of the conversation piece in the end. And we might have more people join as we, as we talk through things. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. All right. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen here. Okay. All right. Thumbs up and you can see what's on the screen. Excellent. Um, yeah, so just a, a warm welcome. I think we, our, our idea for this webinar is to give you some information about a few of the courses we have coming up to kick off 2022 um, and tell you a little bit about the UP Center if you aren't already familiar with it, as well as the University for Peace, um, the university under which the UP Center is located. So I am Hannah, I'm a program manager at the UP Center for Exec Ed. Um, a lot of my work life has been being kind of being surrounded in, in international contexts, and I'm very passionate about helping people find their purpose and live their pass it, passion. So this is the perfect place for me to be talking to you all about some of these transformational courses that we offer. Um, and Julia is going to be joining me as well as we co-host this session. Thanks, Hannah. Yeah, uh, my name is Julia Delafield. I'm the director of the Center for Executive Education. Um, and yeah, interestingly enough, my career started in the nonprofit world, and I got a little bit disillusioned by chasing money all the time and got really excited about the idea of social enterprise and social innovation and where how you can have um, impact and purpose at the very heart of what you're doing, but do it through uh, a, a, a for-profit format or a, a format that allows you to generate the funds that you need in order to keep existing as well. So that's how I uh, sort of connect deeply with what we do at the Center for Executive Education with both social innovation and uh, yeah, the global leadership part as well. So I can talk us through this. I actually am a an alumna of the University for Peace as well, but the University for Peace is a really unique place in this world, I would say. We were started by the General Assembly of the United Nations. We talk about that widely in part because it's really dear to who we are. Um, and we work hard to have those values that are that everyone sees within the United Nations as this, that everybody thinks of the UN as this place they can look towards to get help uh, resolving some of the world's 
most dire problems. And we are working hard to transmit that through what we do as well. So the University for Peace itself is doing master's and doctorate level courses with people from all around the world. And within that lives the Center for Executive Education, um, who is really, our function is really to, to broaden the scope of who can interact with the University for Peace and go beyond uh, just people who are interested in a master's degree to a larger audience. Just as an FYI to everyone, uh, next year will be our 15 year anniversary. Um, so the Center for Executive Education has been around for a really long time. And I think to, to build off of what Julia said, we every we believe that everyone has a power to to make a difference in this world and have positive impact. Um, so we take the university for peace's mission for a more just, more tolerant world, and we localize it a little bit, um, thinking about how you, what you can do to have an impact, positive impact within your family, within your social circle, circle within your team or organization. Um, and simply the the simply put, I think the Center for Executive Education provides these very transformational learning experiences that we'll talk about in just a bit, in order to allow you to um, have that positive impact and connect with your purpose. So uh, we do offer these learning experiences in different formats. We have online courses that are much more focused, focused on asynchronous learning. So it's fairly, um, you, work, you work through the content and the materials on your own, and then you have weekly sessions that you can connect with your peers and with your facilitator. Then we also offer live virtual workshops. These kind of came into being uh, with, with COVID and the pandemic, and we tried to create a learning experience that was as close to a face-to-face -face interaction as possible. So these, Live virtual workshops are really focused on that synchronous learning, that time when you're in the in the classroom, the Zoom class classroom with your facilitator, with your peers, and going through the content during an hour and a half, two hours, two and a half, two and a half hours sessions, and then it's complemented by some materials that you can work through on your own as well. And then we also have on-site courses, uh, but the three courses that we're going to be focusing on today are live virtual and online. So what makes UPs different? Um, first of all, we try to make these courses as engaging as possible. Online learning runs a long, there's a large spectrum of, of ways you can do online learning, um, but a lot of it is sort of set up for self-paced learning. We have a little bit of that, but our, our um, intention is to marry that with this global classroom that you're taking these courses with so that you're truly establishing deep connections with people, you're practicing the materials, and you're not just having sort of your own uh, personal experience, but are uh, taking this out to the next, the next level where you're fully engaged all the time when you're online, you're, you're really just uh, tuned in. And then the Global Classroom, one of the interesting things is that we do have students from all around the world. Um, in fact, our four, we, we were interested this summer to look at some of the numbers and figure out that in our diploma program, the current four largestly, largest represented uh, countries are Trinidad and Tobago, uh, the United States, uh, Costa Rica, and India. So quite a diverse group. Mm -hmm. We all, all of our courses are also very learner centered, which means it really is at the end of the day, all about you, your context and what you were ultimately gonna take away from that course. Um, all of our courses kind of build on your specific circumstances and all of the assignments relate to exactly what you're going through so that at the end, you don't, you don't have something that's very theoretical and not applicable to your goals and your context. It's something that you can immediately start to implement on Monday morning. Um, the other thing is that our facilitators, they're very, it's a very diverse group from all many different countries in the world. They have very different backgrounds, but what sets them apart um, is that they are, they are practitioners. So whatever they're teaching you about, they have also been through it themselves, which means they've seen the side of success, but they've also seen the challenges that most likely many of the participants in their class are facing. And so they're in a perfect position to be able to empathize with that and provide suggestions and guidance. Uh, we have Harvard graduates, we have uh, people, authors, we have people who are coaches and consultants, really a wide background and, and range of facilitators that bring a lot of different amazing expertise to the table. Um, here are some of the courses, the three courses that we're going to talk about today. Like I said, all of them are kind of the kickoff to 2022 as we round out 2021, amazingly enough. Um, we're going to talk about organizational happiness, a course called Designing Your Life, Innovating from the Inside Out, and Regenerative Leadership. 
I'll kick off with organizational happiness. This out of the three is the live is a live virtual workshop, which means uh, you get together with your cohort during five weeks for uh, one and a half hour sessions every Tuesday and go through content. So it is, in that sense, it is very face-to-face. -face. It's very interactive. You'll be doing a lot of breakout rooms, chats, polls, along with going through the content as well. Um, this is a, I think this is a course that's really applicable right now. There are a lot of companies and organizations and teams that are still going through a lot of change and trying to figure out what is their normal now that the pandemic is where it is? Um, and there are a lot of people who really just think, you know, my employees are burnt out. They need a breath of fresh air. How can I help them even though I don't see them face to face every day? And so this course is really designed to help you prioritize well being and engagement and happiness uh, in order to improve team performance, employee performance, prevent burnout, um, and really just create a culture where this is the norm. Uh, and, and I think a lot of teams right now are craving this kind of information because they, they, are, they are seeing the business case for it. It does make a lot of sense and it does have that ripple effect and trickle down to the bottom line of many organizations and teams. So like I said, you can expect five different, five different live sessions every week on Tuesdays for this specific course. Um, and what you're gonna get are, are very practical tools to create this culture of well-being and prioritize happiness within uh, your team or for your employees. Um, and, and the practical piece to this, throughout those five sessions, you're gonna be working towards this larger deliverable, which is an organizational happiness plan that you can put into practice at your workplace. Some of the highlights for this course, you're gonna look at the science of happiness and how does that relate to employee engagement. You're gonna look at measuring organizational happiness because really it means nothing if you can't measure it. Um, and you're also gonna look at what is the business case for your organization? How can, I, how can I pitch this per se to my organization so that they can get on board? And then also what's my game plan? How can I actually put organization, organizational happiness uh, into, into action in my organization? So that's kind of a brief snapshot of this course. Then we have Julia taking us through DYL, Designing Your Life. Exactly. And if you don't mind, if, um, sorry, I'm, I'm switching. I very, in amazing timing, I lost my power about 10 seconds before this uh, webinar began. So I. All right. I guess she is connecting soon. <laughs> There she is. There she is. There we go. Back. Thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, switching over so that I can be a little bit more comfortable and actually see things on a screen now that I have my power back. Um, so designing your life, innovating from the inside out is another one that we, we always do at the beginning of the year because it is a, a great thing to start your year with. Um, it's very much a personal development course. Uh, anybody who knows the center knows that we love the field of positive psychology and sort of looking into well-being and what it means. And this course begins with that, with really looking at what is well-being, breaking it down into bite-sized pieces, and then applying it to yourself. So what am I doing well in? Where, where do I need some work? What are some actual steps I can take to get there? Uh, and the, the sort of final outcome, you write what we call a life design plan, where you're actually putting into um, a very short written form, but the, the point being that you're recording your goals and thinking about what you're going to do to get there, to get yourself on the path that you need in order to have the fulfilling life that you're looking to build around you. So it's really about taking that time to reflect and to think through. It's an awesome course for anybody who's going through a transition or a change, um, for young people sort of starting off their career, or we've become very aware during COVID that it's a great sort of breath of fresh air as people need to, to recharge and focus. Uh, I think the pandemic sapped a lot of energy from a lot of us in this course is a good way to, to sort of get that back and get excited going forward. And this course, um, yeah, is a regular online course, which means that it's set up through a Moodle platform. There is a weekly live experience, but a lot of it, because it's also a personal reflection, a lot of it is done on your own time as well. Uh, and then the final course we wanted to mention, and in a second, we'll tell you why these three in particular were, were picked out, um, is called Regenerative Leadership. So uh, if you know about the Center for Executive Education, you may know that we have two different diplomas, and one of them is specifically in global leadership. We feel that leadership is an area, everybody's a leader. If you're 
making the effort to take care of the people around you uh, and choosing to, to be an example, then you are a leader. Um, and regenerative leadership is one of our two principal leadership courses. And this course is less about looking at yourself as a leader and more about if you have a project that you're working on or an organization that you work with, how can you as a leader build sustainability into the very um, fabric of what your project and your organization is doing? So this can be sustainability in terms of environmental sustainability. A lot of people who are interested in this course do are looking that direction. But uh, the word regenerative, the point is that it's going beyond just replacing what you take out and actually uh, causing, uh, allowing for flourishing beyond that. So any of the SDGs, anything that you can build in that makes sure that your project or your organization is giving back to the future and giving back to future generations. That's what this course is all about. And uh, it's a very, the professor in this course, the, the facilitator, John Hardman, is really heavily involved with the students, but at the end, you actually, you're writing out your plan and he's giving you lots of detailed feedback on how you can do it even better. And you're thinking about how you're gonna, yeah, just really put this into the very heart of everything that you're doing. Uh, we, we put in a couple, a couple uh, testimonials from this course as well, but really it is about becoming an agent of change for the future. Uh, and, and thinking beyond where you are, looking at different fra frameworks that can help you make these changes for the future in your project. I think the other piece of, of this slide here is we uh -huh. are, if you are considering, mm -hmm. oh, can you hear me? No. no? Can hear you. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, it must be me. I can't hear anyone. Uh, if you are considering regenerative leadership or any of the organizational happiness or designing your life, um, we have lots of information and, and things that we can tell you about each course. But if you're interested in connecting with a participant who's done it, who's lived it, and interested in hearing more about their experience, we're happy to facilitate that connection as well. All right. So the reason that we wanted to talk about these three courses is because we are offering an end of year special on all three of them uh, that makes it ideal to start your year off right with one of these. So pretty deep discounts on all of them, uh, 450 for organizational happy happiness, which is normally 750, and then 395 for both designing your life and regenerative leadership. Uh, and normally they're priced at 595. So one thing to note here, this end of year special is live this week only. So these prices and these discounts will only be available from uh, the 13th, which was yesterday, until Friday, uh, the 17th at 11.59 uh, p.m. Eastern. So um, if you're interested in any one of these courses, or for that matter, you just want to have a conversation and learn more about the center or have any other questions about what we do, we encourage you to schedule a call with us. I'll put the link in uh, so you can schedule a call and, and connect with us in that way, or you can send us an email. We're extremely flexible. We want to get to know you. We want to understand your situation so that we can help you move forward in your path towards impact and purpose. Um, and we believe that everything meaningful starts with a conversation. So very much as we did this pretty informally, uh, we, we want to extend the same invitation to you all to reach out to us and, and have a conversation with us as well. And just to piggyback off of that, Hannah, um, this isn't something, we, we've we been playing around with different things to do. At the end of the day, we have amazing participants from all around the world and we want to make it accessible, but we can't always have this stuff going on all the time. So we're looking for different ways to try to make it accessible. And if this timing works for you, then awesome. This is probably like the best prices you're going to see for a while. So so grab hold, but but yeah, the point is to try to open our doors. And, and as Hannah said, that, that conversation goes a long way. And I also did just want to mention for anybody um, I know online with us right now, we have uh, Brendalyn has done one course with us already. The, the all three of these count towards both the diploma in social innovation and the diploma in global leadership. So um, you take one, both of those diplomas are five course diplomas. So you take one and you're 20% done. Uh, so it's a, a worthwhile piece in that direction as well, if you might aspire towards uh, doing a diploma in the future. Excellent. So that's what we formally have for you all today, but maybe at this point we can open up for questions. You can take yourself off mute. You can write in the chat box, whatever feels most comfortable. 
And I know we have people live on Facebook most likely as well. So if anybody writes in on Facebook, I will do my best to be looking at that and see if I can uh, answer anything that comes in there as well. We love the courses we offer. Fantastic. Well, we'd love to have you join us. Uh, Julia, it's interesting that you've had conversations with both Brendaline and Donna recently. So maybe lots of your questions yeah. already answered. <laughs> I actually have one question. Um, Julia, I spoke to yesterday, had a fantastic conversation with her and told her that doing one of the diploma programs is actually something I would like to uh, maybe think about a little bit more in the future. I, I literally just finished doing my master's, but I'm always interested in learning. And a lot of the courses that you guys offer are fantastic. And I, I'm really interested in diving into some of them. So these three courses that you guys uh, went over today, um, is it possible just to take like, just pick one at a time and do them or um, because I'm not quite sure if I want to do the entire um, diploma program, but there are like specific classes I know I'm a little more interested in than other ones. So is that a possibility to do? Yes. Short answer is yes. You can do them one by one. The big advantage to doing the full diploma program is that it includes the coaching as well. So as you do them one by one, um, you're not involved in that side. However, uh, it's possible to sign up for the diploma partway through. So in fact, that was my conversation with Brendalyn uh, last week. She had just finished one course and was saying she might be interested in doing the full diploma, but she's trying to figure out uh, when would make sense. And if that happens, then yeah, you kind of come in 20% of the way through. So we do have people who work through in that fashion instead where they choose to just go course by course. Um, and at the end of five say, oh my goodness, I just finished a diploma. <laughs> Okay, great. And that does make a lot of sense for many busy professionals, people who have other things going on, because sometimes taking two courses that overlap um, can be a bit overwhelming. So spacing them out makes a lot of sense for, for a lot of people, depending on what they're doing in their lives. But great. Uh, Frendeline, we've got sign on for the years and hopefully in 2022. Fantastic. Starting the year mm -hmm. off with a global leadership diploma. No better way to do it. Uh, and experiencing the happiness summit. Yeah, this is this is a, a an event that we didn't talk about in this specific webinar because uh, we aren't writing a special for it. However, it is a really um, gross global happiness is a, a happiness summit that we run every March uh, for 2022. It's going to be taking place on March 4th and 5th online, and then on March 4th through 6th on site at the UP's campus. Uh, it differs from our regular professional development courses in that it's very much uh, a conference in which we bring together consultants, coaches, uh, experts in this field of well being and, ha and happiness from all over the world to lead us through different sessions with specific angles on how to bring more happiness and well-being to your own life, how to bring more happiness and well-being to your organizations, um, and how to bring more happiness and well-being to, to communities and beyond. So it really is very interesting. Uh, it's going to be a huge, I think we're, 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 we're prepping for a very uh, a packed event, I think, this year. We have about 60 people already registered for the on-site event in Costa Rica, um, and about 75 already for the online event. So we're very excited about it. If you're interested in that, um, I will also put some information in the chat box, but we'll follow up with information on the Gross Global Happiness Summit as well. All right. And with that, maybe if we're a small group uh, that's with us live, we want to thank you for bearing with us and letting us record this as well, because I know that we've had people write in and tell us that they couldn't make it, but we're looking forward to seeing the recording. Um, and we've been live on Facebook as well, where I saw we had at least uh, one global, gross global happiness presenter who's been joining us on Facebook Live, which is great, um, as well as some other people who I didn't know their name. Uh, but it was great to meet you guys and maybe just in an effort of uh, uh, respecting time, we should, we should close up precisely on the half hour. That sounds fantastic. Thank you all, Donna, Mohit, uh, Rendalene for being here. Um, wonderful to chat with you all and we look forward to continuing the conversation. Dana and Rendalene, great, great to connect even though virtually for now. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye for now. Bye. Hello. Bye. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.